Hello there. How are you? I hope that this finds you well and wonderful. Today, I have for us the June 2016 play by Sephora Beauty Subscription Unboxing. If you have been following my Sephora Play unboxings, you will notice that we have the same box that Sephora gave us last month. Originally, Sephora was packaging its Play subscription boxings in A different box that had pink and red lipsticks all over the cover. Last month, Sephora changed the box to this one. Which has the black and white stripes for Sephora. You can see here that I have again added a cutout from a magazine which covers the mailing label with my address that takes up this whole area on the front of the box and I really don't personally think that looking at my address on a dingy mailing label is that pleasant to look at so I added this cut out, which is a 
photo from the Chanel Fall Winter 2014 ad campaign. And although this photo might be from a fall winter ad campaign, I thought that this photo looked quite summery. particularly like her pink hair which looks summary, in my opinion, and her sort of retro looking sunglasses. Also makes me think summer and her lovely matching pink lipstick and nail polish is very pretty and bright. So I thought it would be appropriate for our summer unboxing despite it originating from a fall winter. Like last month, we can see that along with the white and black striping, again written P L A Y Play in red lettering
also have inklings of the play lettering here on the side as well. Shall we cut the tape here, which I went ahead and placed after securing the picture to the box? So immediately, we see that Sephora is calling the June 2016 play box the minimalist. We can see too that Sephora has again written play on the inside flap of the box again. We can see that our play goodies are again packaged in a white 
drawstring bag. Although, unlike last month, which had a very cute saying and some lips, this one only says play by Sephora. Now, I know that last month I didn't want to say too much about how I felt about the changes because I wanted to give you all an opportunity to form your own opinions without too much persuasion or effect from my opinions. There's a particular word I'm looking for here, but it's not coming to me. But I think that you all know what I mean. So, I have to say that I'm not completely fond of the changes that they've made to the box and to the switching to a pack. I prefer the other way. I especially hope that the lack of any nuance in design for this month's bag is just due to the minimalist theme which this bag does sort of go along with it's very minimalist I like for things to be cute, I guess and aesthetically pleasing whenever possible and I suppose we were spoiled originally with the boxes which were very nice and reusable but it just seems to me that Sephora could do a little bit more than this For the price, I do have to say that despite the changes in the packaging, you still get a very nice selection of samples. So, as long as that continues to be the case, I do intend to continue this subscription. We shall see what awaits us in our little bag this month. So, this month, I don't seem to 
to feel as many crinkly items as we had last month. But it feels like we have a couple heavy things in here. It looks like we got a little more Bumble and Bumble. This one being called Don't Blow It. It says Hair Styler with the H in parentheses. So it looks like Air Styler. And it reads for great hair. Without the heat or hassle. So, I have a feeling that this is an air drying cream of some sort, or perhaps a gel. The back doesn't really say much. So perhaps we should take a look in our play pamphlet. So 
so again you get your play card which you can redeem in store for a free makeover and fifty extra bonus points. information on how to find Sephora online. Emphasis on the minimalists. This page is actually quite the opposite of minimalistic, in my opinion, with this very large typeface and rather busy flat lay scene. It says here Effortless is more Next level nudes and no maintenance naturals This month we're paring it down for understated style that proves sometimes less really is more get a low-key look for summer with game-changing hair cream refreshingly lightweight sunscreen and more must-haves for creating an easy-going appeal And then we have information again on how to connect with Sephora through their app. And our booklet, once again, folds out to reveal our information. Bumble and Bumble. Don't blow it. Is here where they say a perfect air day. Bumble and Bumble, don't blow it. Is an innovative cream that adds body enhances fine to medium hair textures and creates a laid-back 
hair dry into style. And they give us some hassle-free hair tips here. No blow dryer. No problem. Follow these tips for an easy and chic air-dried style. Give it a boost. Work bumble and bumble. Don't blow it evenly throughout, scrunching or twisting as desired to add volume and wave. Smooth it over. If your hair tends to frizz, braid or twist it into a loose bun for 10 to 20 minutes to help contain puffiness. Hands off. Resist touching hair after it's dried. The oils in your skin can cause it to become greasy and limp. Oh, it's quite runny, it looks like. Yes. Very liquid, watery texture. And it has a very perfumey smell. Although it's also a very clean kind of perfumey smell. It's not too sticky either, so that's nice. So that's Bumble and Bumble's air drying cream. Don't blow it. Let's see what store for us next. It looks like this is Benefits Mascara, they're real.
and the box says ninety four percent saw dramatic length and volume ninety percent saw base to tip curl ninety four percent saw visible lift and one hundred percent saw long wearing results and it says in an asterisk results observed in a consumer panel survey whatever that means I'm not I don't know if that's supposed to make a benefit mascara so this will be interesting to try I suppose I shall see if I am one of the 90 something percent <laughs> shall we see what And I think it's here. Oh, so fabulous. Benefit Cosmetics, their real mascara, best selling mascara. Lengthens, volumizes, coats even the smallest lashes, and features a specially designed brush. One wand, two ways. Give your lashes a lush, full look in just two simple steps. One, apply one coat by starting at the base of your lashes and horizontally wiggling outward. Two, apply the second coat by holding the wand vertically and using the domed tip to push the lashes upward and out. Perhaps 
perhaps we should get a look at this domed tip So I looked a little bit closer at this wand and while I believe that it might have some kind of dome I'm not really seeing it personally so I'm not sure if you guys could tell but I guess it's slightly dome I will have to try it and see but that is benefit They're real mascara. It looks like Becca Backlight Priming Filter is our next item. And the package doesn't really seem to say much, so we shall see what our Booklet 
success. In the prime of light. Becca, backlight priming filter. Shimmering makeup primer. Acts as a soft focus filter to blur imperfections an effortless luminous look right on prime four tips for a flawless finish one less is more. A tiny drop the size of a pea is plenty when you overload on primer it pulls under your foundation. I think there might be a typo here. I thought it said pull, but this says pills. Maybe peels, I think is what they're trying to say here. When you overload on primer, it peels under your foundation. Because pills doesn't really make sense to me. If it makes sense to any of you, or you know what they're talking about, Please let us know. Number two, eye to eye, gently pat around the eyes for a three-in-one effect. Prevent makeup from smudging or creasing. Soften the look of crow's feet and counteract redness. Number three, lip and learn. Dab on lips before applying lip color. It will prevent your lipstick from feathering and settling into line. Set to go. To lock in your primer and foundation and prevent any smudging, remember to apply a dusting of powder as your last step. Okay, um, I've never tried this before, so I thought we might see what the consistency is like.
I have a kitten down here that is very impatient, so apologies for any of his disruptions. It looks quite nice, actually. It seems to have not really settled into lines or anything like that. It's pretty translucent, I think. And it does have a slight shimmer, I think. It's going to be nice to use this because I didn't really bring a primer like this with me, so Okay guys, we are halfway through June's box and I think that people are waking up downstairs too, so we might try to move this along a little bit. So next, It looks like we have bare minerals, bare skin, sheer sun, and it looks like a bronzing serum. With this versatile formula, you can use alone for a stunning sun-kissed glow. Drop into your bare skin pure brightening serum foundation for a boost of beautiful bronze or layer over any bare minerals foundation for a natural, healthy looking summer glow. And it looks like this is one of those that you pop 
open like so. And the packaging on this is quite nice looking. Interesting. It sounds kind of like a spray paint can, maybe. It's very curious. And our booklet says, drop a tint. Bare Minerals, Bare Skin Bronzer, Blendable, Lightweight, Liquid Bronzer may be worn alone, or as we read, over foundation to give skin a sheer natural looking touch of sun. And it gives us a few more tips. Your golden ticket. Get the glow that works for you with these four liquid bronzer looks. One, beach bronzed. Warm up your foundation by adding a few drops to it so it matches your summer tan. Two, natural sheen. Skip the foundation and layer over your moisturizer for an easygoing sun-kissed look. Softly sculpt it. Swipe and blend across your cheekbones, jawline, and sides of your nose to contour and add definition. Glow all over is our fourth tip. Add quick color to your arms or legs by rubbing on with your favorite body lotion. And so I don't normally have a very bronzy look, but this might be interesting. Probably should have put it where I put the primer, but oh well. It really does have a very liquid consistency.
definitely makes me look more bronze. I may end up using this some just for the fun of it. I'm not sure that we'll see. But that is bare minerals, bare skin, sheer sun. getting down here now. Okay. So it looks like our last product is from Tarte and it is called Tarte Guard 30 Sunscreen Lotion Broad Spectrum SPF And this is also very nice packaging for a sample. This is very heavy. And on the back, it just has some warnings, which I'm not going to share, but it says Things like not to get it in your eyes, and not to ingest it. And its active ingredients are titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. And Let's see what our booklet says, or pamphlet, whatever. It says, for the f oh, no, for the son of it. Tarte Guard 30 Sunscreen Lotion, Broad Spectrum SPF 30. Antioxidant infused, non chemical SPF 30. And we have a visitor. Let's see if he will come and say hello. He's sniffing a candle right now. Come here. Come here. 
Come here. He's very interested in this candle. And he likes the box. That's very surprising, isn't it? Nope. And there he goes. Okay. Anyway. So it's non-chemical, SPF 30, sunscreen, moisturizes and protects without leaving a sticky feel. And facts about SPF, why wear sunscreen? Applying sunscreen isn't just the healthy thing to do. It is also a powerful anti-aging step that helps keep your complexion looking young and smooth. What does broad spectrum mean? Broad or full spectrum sunscreens do it all. They protect you from both UVA and UVB rays, which are the two types of light that can cause harm. What's a mineral sunscreen? Mineral sunscreens, like Tarte Guard, use titanium dioxide and zinc oxide, which are finely ground minerals that create a physical barrier to keep you safe from sun damage. I do like to try to wear sunscreens, so I'm glad to try any of them that are non-chemical. So I'm interested in this product very much. Although I recently read something that said wearing sunscreen actually can increase your risk of getting skin cancer, but I'm not sure if that was true or not. So if anyone knows anything about that, I would be very curious to learn more. So maybe you can tell So let's see. I will be primed, bronzed, and protected here. There we go. I would have to agree, it doesn't actually feel that sticky in comparison to a lot of the sunscreens that I've used. Just a little bit maybe minerally, like I can feel there's something there. But it doesn't feel sticky.
I think I would like it. We shall see. But that is Tart Tart Guard 30. I just wanted to mention too, before we go on to our final item, that the Tarte Guard 30 has a slightly perfumey scent to it. But it smells kind of beachy somehow, like, mm, it's hard to describe, but there is a scent. Last, but not least, I think we can all guess what it is. We have the perfume, Toka, this is the, the brand or the company, and it's called Florence. And I can tell you already that I really love this because I own it already. Beautiful. So I think it's my favorite Toka fragrance. It says, love yourself. We must all remember to love ourselves. is gifted and has unique personal excellences. They're not always obvious and they're not always something that easily understood, but each one of us has their own personal excellence or excellences, and developing those excellences I think is one of the things that leads to a fulfilled life. So, our card reads, 
a Parisian beauty and sophisticate. Florence conjures memories of old world Paris with the alluring combination of Italian bergamot and crushed violet petals. Blue iris and blonde wood add a sophisticated and feminine warmth to the fragrance. and well done carded sample and thank you Sephora I'm very happy to get an actual carded sample again this month finally Shall we read what our booklet has to say? This month's perfume pick, Oh La La, <laughs> Toka Beauty Florence. Timeless and romantic, this fragrance conjures long ago Paris with a sophisticated blend of bergamot, violet petals, and blonde wood, which our card also told us. And then it says, did you know? Sweet scented violets contain ionone, a chemical that makes the fragrance fleeting and impossible to smell continually. This creates a subtle, flirty scent that doesn't fade, but simply returns over and over. And I did not know that. So that is very interesting. I will have to look it up. And read more about it. And we will smell this together. Although, like I said, I already know that I'm going to love it. I've never honestly read this description before of Old World Paris, and I will tell you that that is not what this always conjured for me. It's kind of funny, actually. But this perfume is 
extremely wet in some weird way to me. It's... I don't want to use the word humid, but I can't think of the word that I'm looking for. It's succulent and juicy. It's like an incredibly ripe piece of fruit that's like running with nectar. And they call it Old World Paris, which is interesting, and I'm gonna have to think about that. The name of the fragrance was Florence, but it, I always thought of Venice for some reason because of, I guess, all the water there. It's just a very wet and jammy, sweet fragrance. And I always thought of, like, the canals of Venice, which I've never been there. Perhaps they smell terrible. I don't know, but I, I have this feeling. I don't know, it's the most beautiful fragrance. I love this fragrance. It's just so... succulent. Succulent and sweet and rich. I typically love anything with violet, so... that's probably why I like it. But... I don't know. I'm going to have to sort of sit and ponder on their description because I'm not, I'm not quite sure that that was the image that I was thinking of with this but this is such a beautiful fragrance very easy to love I feel but it's slightly heavy, maybe, so if you don't like heavy fragrances, then you may not like it. So. But that is Toka's Florence. June 2016 Sephora Play Box Bag Whatever you want to call it these days I doubt that anyone from Sephora will watch this but if on the random off chance someone does I hope that you guys will put a little more whimsical fun into your packaging, but for minimalism, I do approve. So, that's all I will say on it. And, I think we have fought the air conditioners all we can for one night. Hopefully they weren't too disturbing for anyone.
everyone for watching and making it this far and for all of your wonderful comments and feedback I much appreciate them and they all mean so much to me so thank you and thank you all for subscribing as well And I think that that does it for our 2016 June Minimalist Play Box. Except for our Chanel lady, she's a little bit maximalist, but that's alright. You need a little bit of you beautiful dreams. Good night.